Hey everybody, it's Charlie and Chris with Daily Motor, and we are getting ready to go check out the all new BMW iX M760 that is right outside there. M1. M760. M60. M60. You're right. Why did I say 760? I guess that's. There's <laughs> you, a, were, there's, you were hoping there was a V12 7 series outside. <laughs> well, there's only so many BMWs that ever got 60 after it, so that's probably why I said 760 just sounded right. Fair enough. Right. BMW M60. I, iX M60. And is it, a, yeah, it's no I, it's just 760, yeah. M60. IX, M60. Right. Yeah. Check out this key, though. I wanted to uh, introduce us to that before we even got into it. It's one of the coolest that keys I've felt in a really long time. That is a really cool key. It's heavy and smooth. Piano black. And it has the BMW colors, because branding. Although this isn't explicit. I thought it's it's white, blue, and red, isn't it? No. Or is it? No, it isn't. No, no, no. Okay. You might want to edit that out so you don't get murdered in the comments. Well... Yeah, anyone who puts uh, those fake colors on there, they don't not do white. BMWs anyway. They, yeah, that's they're right. not. They don't scare me. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, ominous clouds today. Yeah, I think it's gonna start raining on us, so I'm glad we're getting our little walk around in first. Here it is, the big sniff. Look at that, boy! It is ugly. And that's okay. And that is okay because better ugly than boring. So this front grill piece, Entire... the told me it's self-healing. So if something hits it, like a rock. Or if you scrape it with your finger and nail or whatever, it's self-healing. Well, can't it self-heal itself away? Because there's no point in it. It's all solid. Yeah. <laughs> there's no. Well, I, I think there's it's like not functional. I think there's like sensors and things in there for your radar crews and for Maybe some like other sort of things. This much. I think that the, this is like the first like big sniff that's actually functional. Even though it's not functional for airflow, it's functional for other things. For radar holding. Yeah. These wheels are neat. They look both efficient and oh, stylish. It's unlocking. May I? In fact, I don't think, yes, I don't think I've ever seen uh, wheel elements that just kind of float like that. Ooh, I just want to do the smell test real quick. Ah, uh, the smell test, yes. Oh. Flossy Carter. Smell test. Is that gray? That is soft. Feel that. Feel how soft that is. Oh, wow. That oh, is there's clean. a backpack in here, which I think belongs to the Topher. That is. That is the Topher's Let me go put it driving unless backpack. Unless the door is locked. Yeah, just leave just it in leave here it for in now. Here. Oh, oh no, music's starting. We have to turn it down before we get in so we don't get demonetized. I don't know how to do that. Is there a volume knob? Guarantee there's not. There's actually, yes, there is. Is there? Yep. I guess we should do a little bit more walking around, but man, Bars am I excited about this interior. Look at these door handles. Yeah, it looks like the way you get out is from a button. Pretty solid shut. What's okay. under the hood? Let's see. Is there a frunk? We're gonna find out. I don't think out. you can open the hood, can you? I'll show you what you can open up here, though. I don't think there's a... I don't a, think you uh, can open it. What? You can't open it. You can't? I don't think so. What type of vehicle can you not open your uh, your own front in? Is that, a, is that a subscription package that we didn't pay for? Probably. Opening the front of your car? Yeah, you have to pay $8 a month if you want to be able to use the frunk. Um, however, if you want to top up your washer fluid... Oh, that's a good... Yeah, good point. Wow. It drinks through its roundel. A functional badge. Hmm. Okay. Let's see, let's go around the back here where things are not as crazy looking. No. Uh, no roof Ooh. rails, which look kind of weird on it. The M badge is gold. Ah, that is actually that is quite cool. cool. I'm still not a fan of how M is larger than the letters, or the numbers rather, but it's such a smooth car. The drag coefficient must be pretty good on it. Must this. have been raining on their way here because the car is. I think it water probably was. All over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It okay. is. We've got uh, factory clear taillights. It's kind of yeah. neat. Soon it's going to be a modification to actually put in red taillights into your car. Red taillights, exactly. So these are for if you have an emergency and the roof's open, I assume these light up so you don't get killed on the highway. This looks like the same design as the uh, Rolls-Royce Cullinan rear taillights, yeah. just smaller. Maybe they're going for that. Looks like we've got a charging cable under here. That's nice. That is a lot of storage it right there. It actually is a good amount of space. Yeah, yeah. that's like a, actually a very usable space. Now, one thing that I like, kit. one thing that I like about things like this is when you go to the store and you buy like a half gallon of sweet tea or lemonade. Or milk. Or milk. And you don't want it to roll about when you're in the car. You can wedge it down into something like this or sometimes BMW. Oh, yep. Here it is. So BMW includes that. No, they, is, they actually, they started putting that in after I had a press uh, M... 850i <laughs> Grand Coupe in okay. which I put a gallon of milk in the back and then proceeded to floor it and the milk actually spilled and, and it exploded in the back and I spent half an hour trying to get it out of the carpet so 
BMW engineers uh, picked dude, up on that. I, just, I love when engineers listen to us. Yes. You know, yeah, I appreciate it's that. It's just, it's very nice. That's good. That was obnoxious. Well, that's the only way to get that out. This um, has been the same button, I think, since the E90 generation of cars. It's the same. Hey, if it works. No, I'm not complaining. I'm just making an observation. If it fits the yeah. ships. Let's check out the back seat. That's quiet. Yeah, you're right. It is. This whole car is very refined so far. Move the Topher pack. Do the doors shut upon? No, not that fancy. That's just to open it. Gosh, you see, it's quite comfortable. Ooh. It's a nice squish to them. This thing's nice. Although, um, I'm like sitting, there's Heated like an elements. outboard, there's a padded outboard, look at this. The seat Whoa. continues all the way to the door. That's why it's so comfortable, because my shoulder was already resting on that. Huh. Look, oh. at, look at the way these are designed. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Yeah. Uh, you got your tablet holder right here, two USB-C ports. Tickle the passenger's neck <laughs> if you wanted to. The Bowers and Wilkins sound system, which I'm expecting to be S tier. Boy, you can really grab the door. I'm really digging a lot of the design of this car. Ooh, this is something I don't like though, when you're unable to put a cover over the panoramic sunroof. That's a oh, Tesla it, move I think there. it dims though. Oh, is it one of the smart dimming ones? Hey, look at that. That is that helps. Yeah, it does help. We should turn this down so our viewers don't get cross. It looks like some kid has already spilled uh, juice on it. That's good. Lots of journalists have lots of children. Yes. Okay. Quite a bit of room there. I think we should buckle this in when we depart. Yeah, we probably should. It's a very flat floor. In fact, let's buckle it right in the center. We're going to do the third row test on here. Or the third. We'll see. Because, of course, the Topher is watching this right now. Yes, he watches all of our content. Probably want to have it more like that. Yeah. Okay, there. well, that's, that's no longer doing anything, but that'll be fine. Right. Cool. To the front? Let's go. So it looks like you press this button with your thumb, but I bet you there's an emergency. Yep, emergency release right there. So um, if there are any journalists who have complained about not being able to get out of cars with buttons, there's your emergency release in the back. And what is this? Leaves? Leaves? It would look Perhaps. that way. Perhaps for how environmentally you're being by purchasing an electric vehicle. How environmentally you're being? Yes. How environmentally friendly you're being? No, just, just environmental in general. Okay, gotcha. Yes. So we've got a black headliner. Let's do the visor test real quick. Ooh, a fail in the visor test. Doesn't extend? Come on, BMW. No. You're paying... What about the driver's one? $113,000 and you it is a chip shortage. Is that what it was? Oh, you know what? Look at all Probably that sun that's gonna, that's gonna impede. Oh, and these are like not big visors either. No. Oh. What a shame. That is a downside. They feel cheap too. And no handles. That fails both of my petty tests. Right there. Big L. Reading light. Why is the fan does, still going so long? Why does long? this control the infotainment up here? Oh, it has a camera right here. What's Probably that? to watch us to make sure we're not hooning. Um, Whoa! Now it's totally blocked. Look. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's literally white now. Oh, is it? Oh, the yeah. sky's white, too. Haha, -ha, you see that? Wait, turn it back. Turn it back. Well, You're right. It is totally blocked because that tree's now gone. Okay, so it still lets in a little bit of light, but it's but it's oh, it's uh, translucent. Also, I'm still trying oh, to figure out how I to think turn it's, the... it's it's these. It's the... Are these parking brake? What? There's still, there's, there's just a lot of air here and I want to take off there's auto so climate control, auto air. off. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Your seat is still quite loud. Anything. Here we go. Is that it? That's oh, your fan. Very high. Very high. So you actually have to scroll over to get to your cooled seat. God. Wow. Okay. All right. Learning curve. How many levels of... Hey, there are a lot of speakers up here. Yeah, this is supposed to be... This is, has the seat exciters as well, so is it'll it? actually uh, vibrate your back. Yes. Just a heads up, your danglies are quite dangly. Oh, they are quite dangly now. I didn't intend for them to be so dangly. How did you get into the glove box? I didn't. Where did, did this come from? Did you think that I did? Oh, there it is. That was sitting right here. Ah, okay. This is a nice... That. I like this. Oh, this is touch sensitive. You've got a very... Wow, touch sensitive wood. One piece of wood in the car, and it's here, I think, right? You know, I'm equipped with touch sensitive wood as well. Are you? Yeah. Was that a over the air upgrade that you got about 10 years ago? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was uh, 
installed. This feels nice too. These work for me. Check these out. I know they look Just, so fancy. Oh. They don't actually feel quite as fancy as they look, but they're still nice. Yeah, how would you describe the color of this? It's not quite chrome. It's like a gold. Gold? Gold chrome? Yeah, it's gold. It's hmm. like a like a uh, mirror gold. Oh, they gave it to us with 50% battery. Thanks. That's polite. Right. 50%? Yeah. <laughs> the face of a man who and I'm doesn't this. have uh, two volt or two forty charging at home. Kind of wanted to take this somewhere tonight, so that's unfortunate. Well, we can discuss that after we go for a drive. I believe I'm in. I shut think the, car's shut on. the fan up. <laughs> it's on one. Is this really how loud it is for being on one? You're it's still, still making on. noise. Oh, you're in auto. That's why. There we go. Much better. Still pretty loud. Yeah. But I there's no engine to... I don't to... think the car is on. The car is off. It says off. Uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it thinks there's a human in the rear seat. The Topher is with us in, in backpack. Yes. In backpack form. We always have the Topher with us in some form. This wheel works for me. I quite like it. It's a very cool looking wheel. It's like C8 Corvette-ish. Yeah, it feels nice too. Um, Alright, we're going to go down. Also, a very expansive cabin. Yeah. I kind of feel like I'm driving a bus or like a Fiat Multipla. Have you ever driven a Fiat Multipla? No, but I imagine this is how it would feel. Okay. Uh-oh, what did I do? Stop. Uh -oh. <laughs> Come back. I just took everything from you. Oh, that's power. Yeah, <laughs> better be at $100,000. Oh, it comes really far out, Chris. Wow. <laughs> Full granny mode. Alyssa would actually probably appreciate that with her tiny T-Rex arms. Oh, did someone have an accident? Nope, they're just really confused on how I It's a Chevrolet Aveo. Ooh. It's a manual Aveo. He just rolled back. Is this car, Was it, were the sounds in this car also designed by Hans Zimmer? Yes. Shout out Hans Zimmer. Uh, Interstellar is my favorite movie. Yeah, he, he usually watches on Thursdays. So I do. I'll see that. Well, Hans does, yes. Yeah, Hans. Yeah. Ooh, that's a cheap turn signal feel. But Can we engage one pedal driving? Yes, go down to B. Thank you. Aveo 5. It's the fifth Aveo. Salt Life. Does that mean they take it to the salt flats? Yes. Oh, that front wheel is literally about to break off of that thing. It's camber, bro. So this is the car that both Chris and car and driver said was remarkably quiet. And I'm, uh, I'm picking up on what they're saying. In fact, let's turn off... I forgot I can use this. Let's go over to car. Turn off your active noise or whatever it's called. Yeah. If I can figure that out. You have to go to my BMW. You think so? I would say so. It shows when my blinker is on. That's oh, maybe not. I think it's probably in the settings screen of some sort. Can you break my neck? <laughs> I bet it'll feel even faster when it's fully charged. And in sport mode. Yeah, in sport. Oh, shit. <laughs> I went so fast, windshield wipers came on. <laughs> Stop that. I'm leaving grease prints on the door because <laughs> I'm sweating. Oh, heavens. Yeah, that is. 811 foot pounds of torque. I believe that was a quoted figure, yes. Ragged edge there. Yeah, I'll say. 
Oh, the Topher's backpack <laughs> has come loose. He's not going to appreciate back. that. <laughs> and the ride is quite good. Let's get back into uh, personal here. The switch mode thing looks like a briefcase. It does. All right, can we turn off switch mode in order to change settings? My mode's designed. Maybe you're not subscribed. You might be able to change your noises. It just took that section of rough road excellently. Menu. Here we go. That's promising. System settings? I'm going to say probably not. Sound. Immersive sound. No, this is that's for the... Oh, yeah, you're right. Let me do it while you're driving. I'll try and find it. Search. <laughs> uh, menu. It has to be a menu, then, right? Yeah, maybe there's a vehicle settings. My modes. I think you have to go in here. Or in support. My modes design. No uh, settings. There you go. No. Nope. Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> what? I think it'll drift. Probably will, though. <laughs> it's probably just that. That's parking brake, though. Yeah, but it's probably that. There's a... There's a... There you go. That's it. P. Hmm. Interesting. Push and P. I'll let you take a uh, whack at the helm here. I actually, I don't quite like how far up the steering wheel button is, or the oh. release to get out of the door. Oh, and it's up. <laughs> You're welcome. What are these tires? Bridgestone? Alenza. Consider that this is a 6,000 pound vehicle and take that into consideration why it was under steering. Ooh. Neil Diamond is playing currently. But it's weird that we wouldn't have aggressive summer tires on an M car. Sweet Caroline is playing currently. Bum, bum, bum. It saw two very white people in here and it was like, I know exactly the song I need to play. Can you find the driving, driving settings? You would think, there we go, iconic sounds. There you go, okay. <laughs> okay. Fathers are going to get to be so much uh, goofier with the advent of electric SUVs and electric cars because they think about how much to the kids. Yeah. <laughs> just... And oh man, we've overheated the go. <laughs> uh, Charlie, would you say that those accelerations made you so hot that the GoPro overheated? That's probably what happened. And it also put a dent in that Nissan Leaf. Yeah, that is a sad leaf. Not as happy as this leaf here, yeah. or whatever these are supposed to be. Yeah, I'm digging this car. I'm looking forward to spend t spending time with it. I almost need a proposition BMW for us to uh, get right. it for longer. I was going to say, can we keep it till Wednesday? Yeah, I'll have to figure out, or we'll just have to get another loan on one. Okay. Is, do you think this is the point of this? Yeah. Because I, I can't so. see what else oh, that see would if be mine, for. See if mine fits. It's bigger. 
That's what it said. Oh, yeah. indeed. Mm-hmm. The phone is a, so heavy. It's a nice case, though. Did you get a new case? Oh, you didn't get a new case. Yeah. I had that for a while. I put a Pokemon card in there. That's why it got so heavy. Yeah, that's right. Well, it is a chonker Pikachu. It is. Big Chungus. Yeah, yeah big Chungus Pikachu. Okay, so... The BMW it park iX M60. Will it park itself? Probably not. And I don't feel like figuring out how to do it. Put it in park here. And what is this? This is probably for the air suspension. It doesn't balance, so. Let's say something. Feel it going up. You feel it? Yes. Wow. So we can off road with it, is what you're saying? Yeah. Let's see what it looks like in high mode. Okay. If it continues to be high as we get out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Lifted AF. It is a little bit lifted. That's a cool car. So we're going to be spending the next week with it, roughly, and reporting back on our observations and how many necks we break. The windshield looks like it has a blue light protecting on it. See yeah, it kind of does. Blue? Yeah. Just to make the whole cabin feel gold inside. Minim minimize strain on the eyes. Yes. Small annoyance in the IX. You have to have your fingers in a very particular position in order for the semi-autonomous driving mode to recognize that you're touching the wheel. Chris noticed this as well, he said, and if you're just driving along like this, two fingers on the wheel, just a little bit of pressure, let's see if it uh, if it's satisfied with this. Nope, see it's not. See it's yelling at me. You can very clearly see I've got two fingers pretty solidly on the wheel. Look at that. You have to, it's not, it's not a force thing, see? Look at that. It's really mad. You have to have your hand and squeeze the wheel. It's, it's one of two things. You either have to have it in just the right spot and... Oh, that car is not having a great time up there. You have to even either have your hand just in the right spot, like up here, maybe with your palm touching, or you have to really squeeze it. So that's a little bit frustrating, and I actually haven't witnessed that from a BMW before. Usually the BMW systems are very sensitive, very nice to use, but that is an annoyance. Another annoyance of mine is there's this, this phenomenon with electric vehicles where manufacturers love to skimp out and slim down on all the controls. The way BMW did that with this car is there's no way to adjust the following distance right here on the steering wheel for the adaptive cruise control. And it blows my mind why they thought that was a good idea. There are one, two, three, four, five, six buttons over here and only, well, technically seven, eight if you count the rocker and nine, 10 up and down the rocker. There's only two, three rather, over here. Why couldn't they have add following distance adjustments there? Instead, you have to leave your car play. Actually, you don't, you just press that button right there, bring up driver assistance, click that, then go up to distance control, click that, and then set your preferred distance. That is frustrating to me because there are definitely times when I want to change my following distance very quickly. So, pretty strange. Don't know why they made that call, but overall, this thing is really nice to drive on the highway. Just two small nitpicks there. Ready to shoot this review? Yep. <laughs> uh, it doesn't really get old. It does not get old. <laughs> How do you feel about the steering wheel? Um, it reminded me of the C8 Corvette, so that was a good thing. Probably, yeah. That's, that's kind of yeah. Also, not mad at the handling. After, no. after living with it for a while. BMW did a pretty good job with these tires and making them very energy efficient and very quiet and at least enough grip. We, we witnessed the understeer on our first outing with this car, but yeah. I was really cooking it into that corner. We witnessed the understeer We're, on oversteer. You're right. <laughs> now, is there any way to disable the traction control? I figure the Topher would have figured it out. Uh, we looked and gave up. Wow. That's unfortunate for an M car. Yeah. An M car. I mean an M60. It's not yeah. like an IXM. However, but. I am I'm convinced that this is the second quietest car I've ever driven next to the Cullinan. Yeah. No, I think so. And Car and Driver and their instrumented testing kind of confirmed that. Oh, yeah. Uh, but it really nerfs the power there until you straighten out your wheels fully. Chris got the tail to kick out slightly. Did he? Like, he must have very, just yeah, he like, really flicked it. Yeah, he flicked it. Yeah. You know, you know how it'd be, how he flicks. Ooh. He's good at flipping. He is. So not a track car, but honestly, that's not what this car should be. And I guess I should give BMW more credit for not making this such a hardcore, like, no. stiff ride. Ooh, it's an M car, sort of. Yes. You know? Instead, it's just they focused on the power yeah. and the looks. 
kind of. And, that's, and, <laughs> and they, made a, they made a good daily driver. They really did. And here we go over rough ride section. That's remarkable. It's so smooth. Especially for 22-inch wheels. Yeah. Gosh. Oh, okay. Ready for brakes? Charlie's... Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, my seat. My Did seat move moved forward. forward. You do you look, see that? You do look further forward. Did you... Actually? No. My hand was down here. Wow. It's... It's... You know why? It's so you don't... When you go back, you don't hit as hard. Ah. Yeah, seatbelt and everything. Yeah, seatbelt's tensioned. Oh, here goes launch control. Yeah, it's it's so fast. I like the little drivetrain vibration it does. Yeah, I wonder control. if that's like, if they put that in intentionally or if it's a byproduct, you know what I mean? Yeah, Might as well drive around with some iconic sounds for the viewers. Mr. Hans Zimmer. Yes, thank you, Mr. Zimmer. Thank you, Zimmer. Appreciate that. Zim, Zim Zimbo. I'm sure he'd appreciate that. You ever notice there's just a couch chilling right there? Yeah, I'm about to make it too. I've got a couch I got to get rid of. Oh, yeah. I want to do a photo shoot on that couch, just like couch in the woods type vibe. Yeah, I think people would really like that. Yeah. I think instead of putting the, my couch in the Maverick, I'll tow it with the Maverick here. Oh, just drag it on right. the street. Let me sit on it while you, <laughs> while you do that. No, yeah. this, this car has been, it's been really nice. It's, admittedly, I, I came in with very high expectations and that's never smart to do because it's it's infrequent that your expectations will be met if there's not a Porsche badge on it. But it has been really darn good. And I think while I haven't been incredibly wild and there are a few small things where you can kind of tell that manufacturers are getting away with cost cutting in electric vehicles in the sake of being cool you know but like th i find this unexcusable at one hundred and ten thousand dollars. oh that's ridiculous yeah. yeah i find the lack of adjustment right here disturbing because why Th there's <laughs> one two three four five six seven eight nine ten methods of control on this side yeah there's one no one two three four over here why couldn't they have snuck a few buttons right yeah, here to change for, distance? Uh, distance right yeah i also i don't know if you noticed this i was getting a slight rattle Oh, were you? Was it down here? I think it was that vent over there, possibly. Well, and that's another difficult thing with electric vehicles is any little tiny rattle or fan noise or anything is going to sound louder in this car because there's no engine to sort of mute it. Yeah, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just getting ready. <laughs> There you go, you feel it going? Yeah, <laughs> skating it there. There's something about BMWs, I just, there's so much confidence cornering with them. Yeah. Chris and I noticed this, and I, I mentioned it in the highway fuel economy test as well, but if you just have your hands casually resting right here with your fingers, the wheel doesn't sense you driving. Right now, it's freaking out at me, even though, look at yeah. this pressure I'm putting on the wheel. I am turning this bad boy. Look at this, aggressively. Have, yeah. I and it doesn't notice that my fingers are there. You have to. You have to really grasp it. Yeah. And that's, that's a the, small annoyance. At the same time, though, you don't have to, like, necessarily do a steering input. You just have to, like, be applying pressure to... In the right Somewhere spot. on the inside, yeah. I wonder if that's our old Volvo, broken down on the side of the road. Could have been. a T6. Yeah. Should Not your problem look. anymore. <laughs> I'm curious. It'd be pretty funny. What else? Uh, the interior, again, a lot of really impressive, luxurious aspects. Yeah. But then a few other things that you're kind of, like... Really? Like, like if you were in a hundred thousand dollar BMW X7, I think it would feel more luxurious and just more expensive. There'd be more seat adjustments. I'm kind of there's not a lot of seat adjustments. There's no thigh adjustment, which is yeah. uncommon for a BMW. This car feels expensive in the way that it drives, whereas an X7 feels more expensive from where you're sitting. Right, but the X7 also does drive very well and has impressive power yeah, trains. But, yes, but this is quieter and smoother. That's true. An X7 is also much, much larger. Would you consider this That's to true. be a compact crossover? Yeah. It doesn't it look like, like a it at first. But... It feels like a C-Max in here. Ah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, you do sit a little high. I can see a lot of people not being huge fans of the little bit more minimalist sort of design. We do, because we're young, but I... Ah. I Really? I would like a climate control panel. Are you going oh. to look at that Volvo? Yeah, that's right. I am. 
It'll only take us about 60 seconds to get there. That's true. It smells like butt over here. It does indeed smell Actually, you know like what butt. it does? You know what it smells like? Dead animals. That's probably true. They're probably dead humans in those woods. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Did you, did you acclimate to the one piece of wood in the car? Or do you still think they should have made this like a dark? No, I kind of like the wood. Okay. Yeah, I think it's fine. The Bowers and Wilkins sound system, what did you think of it? Uh, not, okay, so I would still give it, I think, S tier, but it would be more of like an S minus rating. That's funny, because that is exactly what I gave yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I found the, the only thing that's missing is the high ends were not crisp enough. It I was, agree, 100%. There, it was missing some of that. blown out. Yeah. Yeah. But the bass was really, really impressive. And, and what really got me is in the Q3 that we have this week and this IX, when you listen to the same song at like flat EQ, they were both like, oh, okay, pretty good. When you cranked the Q3 up, it absolutely fell on its face and got distorted and sounded like shit. This sounded excellent when you turned the bass all the way up. It was yeah, like, whoa. Vib- and plus if, if you're in 40, <laughs> then it, it just like yeah, vibrates. It vibrates your innards. I was, I was coming back from charging this at like, three in the morning one night and um i was like all right i gotta i gotta stay awake so i like i (laughs) forgot what song it was but i like turned 4d like all the way up and it was just like (laughs) and i was just like laughing like this is actually this is pretty cool like you know this is this is a cool gimmick in this car to be able to vibrate yourself so if you want to drunk drive your bmw get the bowers and wilkins system with the 4d so it'll keep you you, alert keep you in line yep yeah not to mention, okay, this is a little bit off topic, but I was charging this yes. at like two o'clock in the morning. Some dude in a Mach E pulls next to me while I'm charging. And, really? You know, gives me a little nod. Of course. And um, I just thought that was funny because could you imagine you're a third person that wants to go charge at two in the morning and you pull up and both <laughs> charge ports are taken in the middle of the night. I would be so irritated. That is that is a, a struggle yeah. of, of EV ownership. At least the chargers stay open all night, not, not yeah. all gas pumps can see yep. that. That's, that's a positive uh, asset there. Of, uh, so does it charging. seem like a very dark brown? Yeah, it does. It does, it certainly does. No, well, no, it's black. Is it for sure black? Are you gonna get out and inspect it? Yeah, I'm just gonna check the VIN real quick. Okay. I'll sit here and try not to get run over. Thank you. Yeah. This car has to shut off. It's the tire that's blown out. So at least the car has it broken down. Is it your old car? It might be. It might be. There's like a. Is it brown? There, it's it's such a dark brown that you, it's it's hard to tell. Oh. Um, there were very women womany things in the car. So. Oh okay. That what? is uh, that is it. Rip. Poor girl. The tire's blown out. Yep. Dang. <laughs> you have to show Nathan that. I feel like I should like text her and offer to change her tire, but I have a flight to catch in three hours. Oh well. Comical. The car's off. You have to. It's unfortunate. <laughs> when you got out, I was like, "Oh, car shut off." Oh, low tire pressure. Oh shoot! Maybe we put out a tire too. I was gonna say you might have run something over. Tire pressure monitor. <laughs> oh, Uh-oh. that's pretty low. Definitely ran something over. Wow, that's unfortunate. All right, we're gonna limp it and keep an eye on the tire pressure. Yeah, that doesn't feel, oh, that might've been rumbles. That was just rumbles, yeah. Maybe uh, in the process 26. Of... Oh, anyway. Okay. God, please let us get back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like walking back. Does BMW still run run flats? Oh yeah, they should. Yeah, Although fun. we did did we saw a little inflation kit back there. So either way, <laughs> the BMW iX. Okay, very uh, interesting turn of events this morning. Yeah. Have we found your old Volvo? Yes. 
has the pro found several destinations. Which one should I select? You may have said the B word. I didn't say the B word. You're right. This one is also going wow, you're right. quite a bit. We ran over something. Yeah, with both fronts probably. BMW's gonna really appreciate that. They're yeah, they're gonna be very excited when they come and pick it up and it's on two flat tires. Fortunately we were recording this one. That's true. Oh actually that's not low, it's PSI's thirty nine in the front. Oh okay. Yep. Oh yeah, it's just gone up to forty. Yeah. Yep. Okay. What do you think? Uh, a nail, a screw, glass, maybe glass. No, I feel like just glass. Yeah, actually, glass would have to be. Yeah, yeah, you're right. What did someone drop a box of nails back there on the highway? Dude, people. Yeah, people are ignorant around here. Yeah. So if you do own a BMW iX, don't run over a nail. Yeah, no, don't don't do that. Yeah. But I do quite like this car, even though it's uh, even though it's got its quirks. Oh, now we're down to twenty five. <laughs> It uh, It is enjoyable to drive. I did like having it around. Not as much my favorite, favorite car as I thought it might have been. There are honestly elements of the i4 that I like better. Yeah. There, there are some of the conventional car sort of things that just sit better with me. Yeah, this is, you know, you have more of that, more of that wow factor, more of that sort of gimmicky thing with this. Yep. Just because it is a standalone platform and it was built to be an EV mm -hmm. whereas with the i4 it's a 4 series yeah so there's things in there that feel more normal and some of the things that they've added have added to that whole like wow this is really good you know like the really good sound system and the insane throttle response and um, just some of the things like that so yeah fortunately there isn't that like I have to have it uh, feeling of the car sensation so oh yeah because it's like a six-figure vehicle so. yeah but even like a like the, the lower version the one we're supposed to get the 50 yeah but the fact that it gets the the really impressive amount of range and all the all the neat features is definitely cool I think it's not for everyone but for the right person I think they're gonna be really happy with this car yeah I agree I think we're gonna make it don't say that. It just explodes. <laughs> Knock on the one piece yeah, of wood. Yeah, one piece of wood here. At this point, I would just walk back, though. We're not too far anymore. <laughs> Chris just leaves the car. <laughs> Hans, uh, the car is pretty close to the 250 yeah. Port Industrial. Yeah. You'll see it. You'll need a flatbed. God, he's going to be so pissed. Because the only reason we have this car is because the other one has a broken windshield. <laughs> Congratulations, Charlie. You broke the only IX that's available to Mich Michigan journalists at the moment. Why have we broken all of our recent BMWs? We have Not all of them. Well, we broke the windshield on the M4. And we broke the door oh, on and the other M4. Well, somebody else did that. We didn't right, do that. Right, but under our care. Someone hit some Arguably, we didn't do this. Michigan Roads did. That's true. And I guess technically the windshield also. Yeah. Maybe you just maybe you just when you went around the corner you just put too much force on it and it decided it no longer wanted to be a tire. Maybe it's not on its beat anymore. Yeah. I'll wait for your reaction here. Doesn't eh, it does look a little low. Oh I can hear it. You can hear it hissing? Yeah. Let me up. Oh I can too. Let me pull it back a little bit. I will look for it. Okay. Oh you can't back the car up with the door open, of course. Why would you be able to do that? Right. She done. Rip. And well, on that bombshell. <laughs> back to the studio. Back to the studio. Which is right here, fortunately. Which is right here. Uh, sorry, BMW. Didn't mean to do that one. But go buy an iX, because they're cool. Yes. Yeah. iX, good car. Mm -hmm.